Hey guys, CF Horror. Uh, this is my video for the 100 subscriber contest entry for Wine and Horror. Uh, they had three questions that they wanted answered, um, giving away what sounds like a pretty cool prize at the end. Um, they came around about the same time that I started, so I've been following them really closely. They, they're awesome people. Um, their questions, what are your top three vampire movies? Um, what do you like best about their video, and what would you like to see more of? Uh, first question is extremely loaded. I wish you said top five. Top three is very hard for me. Um, I actually, and, and not so you guys play favorites or whatever, but I knew the answer before, before you guys kind of let a little sneak peek into what one of the potential prizes was. Um, my top three, number one is very easy, Salem's Lot. Um, extremely huge into Stephen King. Uh, read the book, obviously. And that's actually, I feel like that's one of the better film adaptations that they've done where they didn't really, didn't really screw up too much of the source material or anything like that. Uh, number two, Lost Boys. Everybody loves Lost Boys. And that leads into number three, also Fright Night. Uh, huge into those, that, that like mid to late 80s era of the vampire flicks is really good. Um, I do have to give, I know you said three, but I know you also wouldn't care. Um, honorable mention, 30 Days a Night. I don't know why, but that's one of the movies that whenever I see it on TV, I can literally just sit down and just, I don't change the channel, I just watch it. Um, it's super corny, I mean, Josh Hartnett, but I don't know, it's one of those movies. Um, what do you like best about your guys' channel? Um, as I've also mentioned, similarities to you guys, really into Stephen King, really into wine. So I love the wine reviews that you guys give before you get into the actual, the halls, the horror talk, all that kind of stuff. Um, so keep doing it. Uh, what would you like to see more of? Um, honestly, I, I don't really know. You guys do a lot on there. You guys kind of switch it up. Um, I, I don't think I've seen too many unboxings, so that would be cool. One thing I would like to see, because like I said before, I mean, obviously you guys are Stephen King fans, and I am as well. Something that nobody really does, I'd like to see some book reviews. Um, there's always books out there that people have read that nobody else has heard of that really deserve the attention. That's not really something that's, that's as easy to pick up on as like a movie review kind of thing. So yeah, any book re recommendations, throw them out there as well. Uh, congrats on 100, guys. We'll talk to you soon.